want to shift to some baseball news now. And speaking of rule changes, Major League Baseball, if you didn't know, they have instituted a new rule change amongst many for 2023. It involves the shift. The shift is going to be taken away. The shift is over. Starting in 2023, quote, MLB is eliminating the kinds of drastic defensive shifts were becoming more commonplace in impacting offense. The new guidelines require at least four infielders on the dirt with two field infielders on each side of second base. No infielders are allowed to switch sides and no four-man outfielders. Fields are permitted. So the shift is no longer. And everybody's so happy about it. All these players, they got Cubs players quoted here. Eric Hosmer quote, I think a lot of us are really looking forward to that. It just kind of seems like there's going to be more hits out there for guys. There's no worse feeling than hitting the ball up the middle hard and seeing the shortstop standing right there. Cody Bellinger, I know that's probably something we'll work on and get used to in spring training, but it's exciting as a left-handed hitter. Why not bunt? I've asked this question so many times and nobody seems to give me a straight answer. If you're a lefty and you continuously pull the ball, you have one of two options. Get better as a hitter or bunt against the shift and force the third baseman and the left side of that infield to respect you as a runner. Why does nobody do it? And now the shift is over because there's been so much complaining. Cody Bellinger, it's not my fault you're hitting 197. Be a better hitter, which means go to the opposite way. The analytics don't reward anybody for hitting to the opposite field, but they reward our walks and strikeouts and home runs only. You get a high war if you walk so much, but really the art of hitting a baseball is going the other way. Tony Gwynn went the other way, 3,000 hits. Wade Boggs went the other way, 3,000 hits. There are people who mastered it and who had long careers and are in the Hall of Fame for doing it. Why is that not being incentivized, nor rewarded, nor at least being talked about? In youth baseball, in high school baseball, in college baseball, if you're a pull hitter, it's a bad thing. Why is it in Major League Baseball, it's okay, even in the minor leagues, you got to get better, got to be more well-rounded as a hitter. You have to hit to every single field in order to be considered to be moved up. You are not going to be moved up, very rarely are you, if you're just a pull hitter. Joey Gallo, great example. Pull hitter to the death, to the core. And guess what? His career batting average is 199 in baseball. The only reason he even has a job is because of his cannon arm and because he hits 40 home runs a year despite hitting 199. Kyle Schwarber, same thing. And Kyle Schwarber sucks defensively. But because he could hit 400 or 40 homers a year, bat 218, he has a job. They should not be getting rid of this shift. They are making players more apt at being pull hitters. I don't like that. That is just, it's the opposite of what baseball is supposed to be. Baseball is supposed to be skilled all the way around. You're supposed to go and hit to every single field well. Being a pull hitter helps nobody, doesn't help your team, and doesn't help the mission, especially in games. Get a runner at second base with nobody out. You want to go to the right side to move that runner over to third base. Then with one out, have somebody come up, hit a sack fly, or get a base hit, and drive that run in. Hitting to the opposite side still matters in baseball. Being able to hit to all fields still matters, believe it or not. Although it may not be popular, although it might be old school and boomer and get off my lawn type step, it's still true. That's the nature of the game. They drove out Joe Madden for wanting guys to go to the opposite way, amongst many other things. And Joe Madden's a great manager. And Joe Madden knows what he's doing. He's a baseball guy. He's been one his whole life. All this new stuff, launch angle, exit velocity, hit the ball as far as you could. I think it's just a fad, and it will go away at some point. Unless the public likes it, I guess. If ratings continue to go up for people hitting 40 homers a year and batting 199, if if that's fun to you, then maybe you will like baseball still. Maybe more people will decide to tune in. Maybe everybody wants a 200 hitter with 40 home runs, not be able to hit to one side of the field, and everyone's going to be okay with that. I don't think it's cool. I don't think it's right. I'm not a fan. So I would just hope that people get it right. And the shift 
being banned, I mean, you're just going to see more pull hitting. And, and if that's what you like, and if you're looking for more players to simply just, you know, be a one-dimensional type player, awesome. That's great. You will get your wish, and that's going to be nice. But if you're looking for real skilled baseball, if you're looking for players who mastered the art of hitting, understand how to go the opposite way, go up the middle, go to their pull side, and be balanced as a hitter, hit for power, hit for average, drive guys in, that'd be awesome. But we're not seeing that, are we? <laughs> we're seeing a band of the shift, and then we're seeing all these lefties who are hitting 197. Crazy. How about you be better as a hitter? I can't believe that there are so many people complaining that they actually had to ban the shift instead of just evolving as a hitter and being better. I've never heard of that before. Because the game really is player-driven now, because this is ridiculous to me. I've never seen players have so much power when it comes to this. You know, you'd think it'd be, well, we got to evolve as players. we got to get better as players. we got to overcome the shift by being smart, going the opposite way, bunting, becoming better hitters. No, the answer is we're going to ban the shift. Everybody do what they want to do. That's not the spirit of baseball, and that's not what I know baseball to be. So I'm really not happy about this development for baseball. And everybody else is. Maybe even some of you are, and that's fine. There are some stats about some Cubs players. Ian Happ would get an extra seven hits from the left side, apparently, according to what would happen if the ship was not in place last year. Bellinger would gain four hits. Hosmer would gain three hits. Is that really a big enough deal, though, to make the ship occur? See, that's my point. We're, we're talking about, oh, my gosh, so many guys are going to get more hits, and things are going to be better. Well, we're talking about four, three, seven hits. Is that really that big of a difference to the point where you need to ban the ship and make this whole rule change? Probably not. I'm just disappointed in this direction for baseball. And I'm sure many of you are too, and I'm sure many of you have seen the evolution of baseball over the past 10, 15 years. It's just, it's becoming, it's always been a business, but it's becoming more of a business in your face, Right. There's no more preaching about fundamentals and being better as a player, right? There's only preaching about how much money can I make. If I'm a power hitter, can I hit 40 home runs, hit 200, and still make $40 million? The answer is yes. We're, we're more worried about the corporate part of it, the business part of it, not about the art of the game. And while that's fun, and I know the whole thing's about money anyway, it hurts a younger generation. It hurts kids who want to actually learn the fundamentals and understand what baseball is all about. Some kids genuinely just want to know what the game's all about. Some kids genuinely want to play the game the right way, and they're taught so. Then they get to the minor leagues and the majors, and they realize, holy crap, this is not what I was taught. We got pitchers throwing 100 miles per hour, only going five innings, throwing 100 pitches. We got batters swinging for the fences every time and pulling the baseball at an all-time high. And the answer for Major League Baseball is not get better as players or go back to the basics. It's we got to change all the rules to suit you. As somebody who is a baseball lifer myself, that's a stunning development for me. That is just stunning. I just hope for the best, but I, I'm, I'm not happy with that change at all. And I think, uh, I don't think it's going to benefit baseball as much as they think it will. I mean, if we're talking about a difference of four to five hits per player, then there's really no point in even banning the shift. Four to five hits is not integral enough to me to make a difference. That's just my opinion.